Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 34 of We Happy Few. So Ollie took a nap for two hours. We are well rested Walk again. Oh. Whoa, what happened here indeed? You better stay away from him. Here. What is happening here? Oh, Weren't those the guys that were helping us before and giving us tips? No, not. It's kind of funny how I changed because in the first I thought no, the wastrels are so poor. They deserve to be treated kindly and everything and now I'm just I don't care about this anymore let's just kill them that's the fastest way maybe that's also fitting for Ollie I need another syringe I guess but we have them luckily didn't I just I let go too soon okay well, then see then let's see what's going on up here. I'm really confused because this still should be before Arthur gets here. Oh, it's a memory. What are you doing in my playhouse? Margaret. I was uh, uh it was raining. Your legs are all wet. They shot you. You ran and they shot you. You're still drunk. Are you going to haunt me? Do you want me to go away? No, no, please don't. I think you're sitting on Helga. Sorry, Helga. I almost finished her. She's ever so upset about her apron. She likes everything to be just so. Could you finish her for me? Oh, wow. So Margaret really was dead before the train left because she ran and she got shot. That is so horrible. Oh, look at all the pretty clothes. Yeah, they're a little bit disarranged, aren't they? But I don't really. That's that's what I'm wondering right now. This should be before Arthur's t before Arthur gets here, right? Right? Hello, people. I'm wearing a pretty dress, so don't hate me. So I think we're going to arc right again. Huh. Well, the problem is now everyone cares if we sprint. So I think we need to find a way around this headmistress. Ooh, what's happening here? I'll take this. Is there a murder happening here? What the There's hell? There's no such a thing as an original sin. You are annoying me. Why are there so many... wastrels in here? So, hey, lady, I helped you with those plague wastrels. Be a little bit more thankful. Lucky I don't believe in ghosts. Yeah, I guess it's a funny thing. Mm, the comments pointed out that. It's funny that he doesn't believe in ghosts, but he still sees Margaret. Well, I guess that's true. I didn't realize that the first time, but I also think that Margaret isn't really a ghost. That haunts him, but it's something that he imagines. I have to go past that headmistress. There's no other way around. Another bloody document control. How oh, much okay. we learned from the Germans. 
Okay, if you keep over here, it's okay. The gate's open. Oh, it's a memory. Can't you just not look at the telly? No, I can't just not look at the telly. They pull it in every bloody corner. I'll tell you what I can do. I can blow up the bloody broadcast antenna at City Hall. That is the worst idea I've ever heard from you. What do you know? You did. Huh? I've got an answer for that, have you? Margaret. Margaret. Ah. Well, okay, so this was why everyone like is... Did a number on this. Wait, why is everyone hating me now? I did nothing wrong! I just stood there. Okay. Okay, so here's my theory. Although I don't think that this works. Or that it's right. Um... That it makes sense, but I think that this happens after Arthur's escape. That this whole bad batch of joy and all that is also starting to show in the parade. And although I don't know, the plague wastrels, um, the plague wastrels start from being who the hell is this? Okay. Relax, crazy lady. Okay, so I just need to r remind myself of something. So the plague wastrels are usually the plague wa wastrels only became plague wastrels because they drank the water that Haworth Labs dumped on one of those uh, on the island that we visited with Sally. They can't be inhabitants of the parade because they should have been far away from all of those. Those should be the last people confronted with this plague water. So the wastrels must have made their way to the parade somehow. Maybe that's the reason why they shut off the bridge because of the wastrels here. But hmm, I'm a little bit confused. I'm not sure. If you have a theory, tell me. Uh, I still don't have any more water that I found, right? Oh, but I have some grapefruit juice. I think I'm gonna drink that. Okay, that also helps our blood sugar. So... Yeah. But ultimately, I think that this happens after Arthur has left. I mean, we have spent a lot of days as Arthur. I think it was over two weeks. Two weeks in-game. I think it was day 15 that we escaped. And I guess we met Ollie on day two or three. And now it's Ollie's day three. So we have, as Arthur, by that time, we could have never been on the parade. But I suppose that this wastrel... Um, infest, infection or whatever, infiltration just happened after Arthur's got out because when we were Arthur and we were here, everything was normal. There were no wastrels here. So let's see. Oh, wait, so you can't even go down there. You can't even get in from down there because the last time oh great this will be great for for ollie to walk through an exhibition where it's always uncle jack i'm sorry ollie we'll make it through fast ah, the department of senseless idiotic research that's another way to call it so if hello has got hydrogen it's these bambots if not I'm off to the executive committee to fill a bag with hot fucking air. So, we need a... F we need to find a hydrogen tank and it's down there, it seems. This is locked. This wasn't locked before. This place is going... Oh yeah, and there's the hole. So this is definitely after Arthur was here. 
So I guess I was right. Where do they keep their hydrogen, do you think? Why are there so many bleepers and... Okay, so it's across there. I guess we won't manage without a fight. I could still try though. Okay, just lock myself in the bathroom for a while. Um, yeah. But what needs to be said on our behalf is we never insulted anyone so far. Just saying. People still hate us, though. I don't know if I really want to pick every one of those lockers. Is there anything else interesting here? Except for toilets. Although someone flushed the sewing kit once. No, someone flushed em empty syringes. Who left a shower running? Okay, so I guess he should be—he should have turned away by now. Oh, no, he didn't. So, where are you going? Can you go away again? Yeah, that's a good one. I'm not sure. If the workers see me, they, I guess they won't be that happy either. Oh, we can hide in the storage. Okay, I guess we should be good. If we manage to get in that, into that door, we this is the first time that we ever did something sneaky as Ollie. Oh wait, we don't need to get through that door, we need to climb over here. <sighs> Oh, I guess this makes a lot of sound. Or maybe not. And there's my hydrogen. No. I just need to walk out the door and We have an intruder! I'm shutting all the doors! Oh, for fuck's sake! I don't get out now! Oh great. <laughs> Who saw me? No one saw me. Why am I being punished for being sneaky? Oh great. So how am I going to get out? Shall I just lock myself in the bathroom and wait? Hmm. Oh wait, there's a ramp building, so I guess this is where I need to go. Yes, the hole in the office. Wait, where am I? I should be able to get in there, right? No, I'm not. I have to jump over there? So, I don't know where I was supposed to go. Should I jump over there? I think I'm afraid I would fall, but... Maybe it's better to jump from there. But the door won't be open anyway to the office! Ah! Yes. Oh, great. The door won't be open, right? Yeah, of course it won't be. What am I doing here? Is it the other way up? Well, at least no one's getting at me up here. What? Stop! 
stop using up your weapon that much. I want to use it. Well, I guess we'll meet in hell. Yeah. First, you give me your weapon. So, stop shocking me. How am I supposed to leave? Where even? Where is my waypoint? Okay, so I think I lost them. Um, yeah, there is no waypoint. <laughs> Great. So the doors are still locked. I can't seem to climb up in the hole. I can't open both those office doors. Oh wait, the stairs are open again. The stairs are open again. Okay, I'm gonna go for the stairs next. So, I guess I... So I guess I can't trigger an alarm. Because as soon as someone pulls the alarm, the door shuts again. Now... Okay, am I right or not? You keep calm, bloody down right, I'm at it with you. Oh great, yeah, someone pulled the alarm. Okay. Okay, I think I'm gonna lock myself in the bathroom. Occupied. Okay, so we're just gonna wait here. What? Okay, I'm dying, and I didn't do. I didn't make any med kits. That's too bad. I think I'm gonna die. He just shoved the other guy. So, I don't know what I did to you. And I don't know what you tried to do with your fists. Well, I have a cricket bat with spikes. But you know it's your own fault. And I'm almost dead. And I'm still in combat. Oh god, I'm almost dead. I'm gonna die, right? Yeah. Damn it! I should have crafted more. Although, now I know. Okay, I think we already read that. Although, now we know that we shouldn't climb that much, because that's not the way out. So I guess hiding in the bathroom and then sneaking over to the stairs is probably the best way to go. I wonder where we're gonna start. Where are we? Really? It's over here? What? We have to do this all over again? Oh, that sucks. Oh, look at all the pretty clothes. Do I have to re collect that memory? No, I don't. Okay. Okay. Um. Once more. There's my hydrogen. No, I just need to walk out the door and. We have an intruder! Allow me to cheer you up! Oh, for fuck's sake! 
I don't get out now. I'm I'm here, Ollie. I think you can open up the doors from the office. Well, how the hell do I do that? I can't fly up there, can I? Oh, wait, the cannon. Just need to make sure it's facing the tower and wind it up. That's a terrible idea. Wow, really? That wasn't the right way, going up the stairs like a normal person? We just have to cannoneer ourselves through the window? Okay, well... Still gonna wait till everyone's relaxed a little bit. That was a good hideout. So, go on, move, do your things. Okay, very good, everyone's leaving. So, where am I going to go now? Okay, so this guy is... He's straight up facing me, so... Hmm, how am I gonna get out? Maybe if I throw something... Ugh, I've skipped past it again. I kind of hate these menus. The more than I think about it. Okay. Go back there. So, what do I need to do? And now, I just... Get in. I guess that's not that safe, but I hope this doesn't tear off any bits you'll miss later. Why did you mention that before? <laughs> oh Margaret, I like you. Still got all my bits. They just hurt extraordinarily much. Oh, are we gonna talk to the doctor again? Who needs trains and planes? We ought to set the mail by cannon. All right, all right. I I've opened the door. Now, please, just go. Thank you kindly. I'm gonna have the worst headache for the rest of the week. I'm sorry. So we just. So we just cannoned ourselves up here, so he would... So he would... Uh, okay, I, I'm, I've got enough of this. I just want to leave. So which doors did he open anyway? Is it the one with the... Staircases? Well, I hope... Oh, it's closed again! What use was this? Oh, it's this door he opened. Right. Thanks. Oof. The broadcast tower can't be that far from here. I wonder what the executive committee is up to right now. Oh, so this is the upstairs of the of the Apple Home Station. I see. So yeah, we're almost there. That wasn't too far away, as I remember. Okay. So. Still need something to drink. Although we probably have too much blood sugar if we drink another grapefruit juice. I'm just gonna wait a bit. Also, I'm gonna heal up a bit too. Although I hope that no one is going to fight us in the executive committee. Yeah, so that's it. We're at the broadcast tower again. Oof. Oh well. I'm really... I don't know. This also feels a little bit like the end. Oh, the memories. 
Oh, I'm going to steal your coffee there, sir. Oof. Okay. So, what will happen next? The elevators must be up these stairs. I figured. Thanks, Margaret. Oh, well. She definitely won't be happy to see us. Oh, I don't think I want to try to get past headmistress while she's on the job. I better shut her down first. Where have they hidden her controls? So what if I talk to the reception desk? The elevator shuttered. Could you open it? I'm so sorry. I'm in a bit of a jam. Would you mind asking one of my colleagues? Okay, so... Let me guess. She also has a jam. Mm. Excuse me, miss. Could you turn on the elevator? I'm terribly sorry. I'm very busy. Why don't you ask at another window? Thought so. I thought so. Well then, oh, there's Bobby's going up there too. I gotta say, this is a very cool building. What? She's moving? I gotta say, this is a very cool building. This looks very nice. Um, well, I wait. Up. Oh. Up. So these platforms, they awfully much look like something that you should climb on, right? So I'm just gonna wait until she moves. Or is she just moving with me? That would suck. But I don't get how I should... Can I climb up there? No. So I think she is following me. What if I outsmart her, but I'm not running that fast? You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Yeah, I get it. So... The elevator shuttered. Could you open it? I'm so sorry. I'm in a bit of a Oh, uh, yeah, I already Would heard you that. Mind asking one of my colleagues. I already heard that. So I guess that's the control over there. Would I be fast enough to jump to run fast past her? Although I doubt that the store is just opened up, right? You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Okay, I'm not even allowed to stare in the window for too long. So, hmm, it's tricky because I'm pretty sure that we need to jump up those platforms. There's a memory up there, I want that too. But maybe that is how you have to turn it off. Get past the headmistress, so I need to get up there. Question is how? Because she will spank me to death. Oh no. Oops. Don't be in the water. <laughs> well, at least there is no... There is no police reinforcement coming. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. Please step away immediately. Please step away immediately. Please step away immediately. Oh, okay. She's confused. Wait a sec. I can't climb this. No, I have to. Where am I? Ha! Huh, not so smart anymore, are you? Wait a sec. 
How am I getting up there? This is right under the bar. Why can't... Oh, it's a Jimmy bar. Hi. Um... So I thought that this was the answer. Oh no. Does this have one more thing to jump up on? And that's the right way? Did I just do this for nothing? Because this was four and this has, I don't know how many? Five maybe? Okay, then once more on the other side. I just wanted to go to the memory straight away. But... Step away now we know... Ouch! that she can't really handle that we jump from the platforms. Oops. Oh yeah, we did it. We did it. Oh, there's some bobby pins lying around. Now I just want to get over to that memory. Okay, so there's two of them. I hope I have enough short spikes. How did how does he not see me? You are not authorized. Oh shut Please up. Clear the area immediately. And you're out of power. I turn on the bloody power to the elevator. Aha! Uh -huh. Now they see me. <gasps> Sally Boyle. Ah. Some memory about Sally Boyle. I want it. Oof. Okay. Hey. How did I get here? Did you go and see Sally Boyle? I can't have. She's, she's in the village. Or she came to you. It doesn't matter. She comes by. What, why does she come by? Do we trade? What did you buy from her? Oh, my memory's more than usually fuzzy. Did you take something she gave you? I was... I was sad, wasn't I? I and, and ashamed. I can still feel it. I just don't know why. You bought something from her, didn't you? Why? It was a sad. What have I got to be ashamed of? Margaret, don't look at me like that. Can't help it if I don't remember. So I guess. Ouch! Wait, I was. Oh no! Oh no! Oops, that was too far. Well, I guess that was one year ago when. Oh wait, what? I mean, I think I need to get into the store. Oh, it was open all along. What? Um. Ah, here it is. Ah, there we go. And up I go. True. So I guess this must have been one year ago when, um, like the general said that he should see Sally Boyle. So I guess Sally gave him. You're about to reveal the truth. Are you ready? Once you go through these doors, you're done with any adventures in Wild and Wild. So this is it. This is the end. All these chapter ends like Arthur's chapter in Appleholm Station. Okay, I'm really excited. <laughs> oh well, uh, yeah, what I said is that was probably one year ago when Sally um, already gave him the drugs to make him forget and he just he didn't lose Margaret he didn't lose the illusion of Margaret talking to him but he just didn't and he didn't uh, forget that he felt sad and ashamed but he did forget the reason why and I guess Margaret seemed to be pretty um, angry at him for that for forgetting or for wanting to forget because she was kind of accusing. She she had kind of an accusing tone when she uh, she told Ollie. She she said that Ollie bought something from her. Oh well. Um, let's see what the rest brings. I'm scared that this will get even worse. Let's do this.
What is happening here? This looks so strange. What? Why does this look so horrible? I thought that this was like the upper, upper class. Why is it so run down? Is it because they're all on joy or something? They don't need... What? Double plus unhappy articles. To Victoria Bing from Penelope Snug. I know that you are short-handed with Miss Holmes on holiday. However, we have now had four workers hospitalized as a result of accidentally reading old newspapers. Please prioritize all articles relating to the thing we don't talk about for redaction. I am enclosing two of them here for your immediate attention, Penny. The O'Corrent to the editor. Enough of the bleeding heart editorials. The agitators w that were hanged had it coming. If they had destroyed the register of children, the whole town would have been destroyed. Stick to reporting the football scores and save the editorializing. We don't need police looking for every Tom, Dick and Harry that took care of those outlaw parents. What are the police going to do? Arrest the whole town? Archibald Bunker, Eel Pie Home. To the editor, I must vigorously disagree with your recent editorial regarding the vigilante action against these saboteurs. These selfish parents attempted to destroy the registry of children so that their own would not have to be hostages. Their actions were a slap in the face to every family that has sent a son off to war. We must all do our duty. By tradition, cowards are to be hanged. Surely saboteur cowards deserve no better, Victoria Bing. We already read that. That sounded familiar. Mr. Kite has flown away. They know Mr. Kite too? What the hell happened here? Food production. Good Christ, it's all going down the crapper. You don't have to talk like that. Wow, they're all penned up inside there and doing crazy stuff or turning lunatic taxi thanks to a bit of british ingenuity the bell pit brothers who were too ill with measles to take oh yeah we already read that that was one that was one that we redacted as arthur that was the one that we um we read as arthur in the first i guess we don't we won't be needing pie anytime soon nope I just need to go over your stuff before I talk to you. Collectibles and all. So, what's on here? No, I don't want to pick those locks right now. Stanley Baldwin. So the music changed here as well. It's, it's even a little, it's even faster than the normal pace, I guess. Okay, so I guess we're ready to talk to them, right? Right, Margaret? Oof. Who's in charge here? You're in luck. It's me today. We rotate the dread responsibility. Do I know you? So, there's only one of you who doesn't take joy on a day. <laughs> I might have had a little. The tanks in the military camp. Did you know they made a papier mache? Oh, that's terrible. Would you like a joy? Have you been getting out into the village lately? People are getting a bit slim. And these charts, are we running out of food? Oh, no, don't look at the charts. They're horrible. Here, let me get you another joy. We've got our own booth. They're the executive committee. So you people are in charge of the whole shebang? That's us. Ever since the victory. What's wrong with the tanks? You know what? I've forgotten. Oh, good. Well, come back if you remember, but with any luck you won't. <laughs> Be seeing you. 
We have to tell people. They need to make a new executive committee. <laughs> Absolutely. If they won't heed the loony from the garden district, they're sure to hearken to the dead girl in his head. They'd listen to Uncle Jack. You know what that man did. Everyone listens to him. All day long. I can't stand his smirking face. Ollie. You're right. You're always right. But it's not going to be pretty. If we go upstairs, we're going to make him tell the truth about bloody everything. So, the executive committee is just a bunch of... I don't know, people going crazy. The food supplies are getting low. And... No one seems to care because everyone's out of their mind with joy. What a nice city that is. Well, then we are going, really, we're going to see Uncle Jack. I need to eat first. Did that help our hunger? Yeah, a little bit. Oh well. So I'm excited. So will we really see Uncle Jack now? Or is he just a figure? Um, fan club. I can't read this. The second line I can't read. Are cancelled until further notice. Hello? Hello? Here's Ollie! Hello! Time to pay the piper, Jack. Well, I guess. I guess everything is a little bit run down here. This could use a remodeling or something. Oh, more grapefruit juice. Nice. Nothing like sitting when you've been oh. walking. Didn't want to do that. Sorry, Ollie. What's this? To the executive committee. I am a skilled I am a skilled makeup professional, yet my talents are wasted whilst Uncle Jack is simply too happy to come to work. The boys in a broadcast studio think I am only here to flirt with, given that I have nothing else to do. It is frustrating as I turned down a job as Davy Hackney's assistant for the chance to work in television. Fortunately, Mr. Hackney has put aside his grudge and offered me a new position, which I have accepted. I am not giving you the requisite one month notice, as I do not believe it will make any difference to you. Please forward my remaining wages to me at the Clayton Center, Nancy. Did we meet Nancy? Was Nancy the... No, I don't think so. So, what's in here? Oh, more grenades. Um, so what else is there to do? Oh, pie. Yes. <gasps> Pure water. Why are there so many first aid kits and weapons? Do we really have to fight Jack? I hope not. Gardening with Uncle Jack. That looks so strange. No! I can't leave here until everyone knows the truth. Ah, okay. Okay, so that's our exit now. Note to staff, please do not broadcast the same tape more than once a week, as the public may wonder if something has happened to Uncle Jack, which of course it certainly hasn't. Okay, so there's always videos switching. Jack's last tape. It's his last show. How'd you ken that? The, the camera's smashed. They couldn't have shot another. Play it. Oh well. So what are we going to see now? Let's see what Jack has to say for himself. Hmm. I'm sure I had it right here. Uh, you know. There are times you can actually take a little too much joy and, um, well, then you can't remember where anything is, can you? Ah, yes. Hmm. Here it is. Um, Mrs. Florence 
Gilbert of Brougham Hayes is holding an exhibition of her hand-knit dolls. Oh, she likes to make dolls from all over the world, all knitted in wool. It's his last you show. How'd you ken that? The, the camera's doll. smashed. They couldn't have shot another. Do you know who'd have liked that? Margaret. Eh? Why is he talking about you? Who's Margaret? Because hmm? I love dolls. <laughs> what am I talking about? Who cares about the past? Well, listen. Do drop by to see these fabulous dolls at Mrs. Florence Gilbert's. Poor thing. Poor thing? She loved dolls, you know. She had dozens of them from all over. I can assure you that there's absolutely no truth to the silly rumor that the food is running out. How does he know about your dolls? However, it is true that there's a brand new flavor of joy. You think a twelve of your daughter would be over dolls? His daughter? Yes, Ollie. But she'd make these darling little costumes. I knew it was wrong. I mean... God, she was even excited about going to Germany. It was me. I couldn't imagine living without her, so... So I hid her. Someone tipped them off. And she ran. No, that's not right. It was Jack what turned you in and I what tried to save you. No, Ollie. You turned me in. I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. But you were my daughter. Jack Worthing. Margaret I mean it. Worthing. You're Ollie Starkey. No, I couldn't have. I could never have betrayed you. You're my neighbour. I was your neighbour. How could I? How could I do a thing like that to a little girl? Dear God. Dear God, I'm sorry, Margaret. I never meant to hurt you. It's a bit late for an apology. What what can I do? Tell me. Do you hear me? We've come to the end of our time. The food's run out. We're all going to starve to death. You have to stop taking your joy. Take it from Jack Worthy. That's me. People have to know. That Jack's your father? Stop. That Jack's gone. That the food's run out. You all have to stop. That they have to stop. stop taking the joy. Stop it. You have to broadcast the tape. Right. Right. I could do that. But you won't, will you? God. God, I never meant to hurt you, Margaret. I'm sorry. Oh. You know, I had the weirdest suspicion. Because at first, when we started it, I was like, okay, wait. So, what if is. Could Ollie be like Uncle Jack for real? But then I started to realize wait, he's Jack Worthing, and um, Victoria being said Margaret Worthing didn't have to die. Oh my god, Margaret was Uncle Jack's daughter. And Ollie was the one who killed her. Oh wow. <laughs> that was a twist. That was a twist for sure. So I think that's what we need to do. We need to broadcast the tape. Oh my god. They cut the power. The bastards. There's an emergency. One of those really power thingy-mobs. Oh wow. I'm so shocked. <laughs> so You're on air. Watch out, someone's coming. Someone's coming through the popper. That's why we needed the weapons. He's not going away. The Bobby Popper. More of them. We're running out of power. Right. 
five at it with you. Take it now. One of them should die soon, right? Okay, I'm out of stamina. Oh great, really? Well, I'm a little bit dying right now, so I don't know. Uh Are about to die. <sighs> well, Margaret, we all did horrible things. <sighs> Can I just lock the door? <sighs> Stupid. I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. You never liked me, did you? We're running out of power. Watch out, someone's coming. I think I need to switch to this to those Bobby weapons because those are far better than this one, I guess. Although this does a lot of damage. Um why didn't I pick up any of those? Oh well, and I guess I'll stay with mine! Die! Okay, I think I'm gonna take one syringe now. And it's almost done! Okay. Die! Yes. Get <laughs> walking out the front doors out the question. I think you need to get that float. We still your boss. Okay, I'm out. <laughs> oh well. So we're it. that's it. What do we do now? We say goodbye. To who? I'm not really your daughter. I know that. And I'm not really here. But... I'm a lie too. We've been together so many years. You don't think having an invisible friend is a wee bit babyish for a man who's been to war? We can hide in the train station till it all blows over. Now that you've put all that on the telly, I think it's time you put away childish things. You're right. You're always right. Goodbye, Margaret. Hey! You bastards! Look up! It's Ollie Starkey! Wake up, you damn sheep! I never liked you! Or you! That's right, you as well, pal! It's not a lovely day for it! It's a fucking terrible day for it! Lovely day for fucking war anyway! Fuck the law, you bastards! I'm going home! Sir? I'd forgotten just how heinous a person I am. Well, 
The truth is not for everyone, sir. You see, some people find they are stronger than they ever supposed. Some people can let go of the confabulations that have comforted them. Some make choices that surprise even themselves. The booze run out! You have to stop taking your joy! But perhaps these people are not you. Are you sure you don't wish to forget? And go back? I was happy before. Wasn't I? Oh, wow. So now we're Arthur again, and now we can choose if we want to remember, if we want to forget. Whew. This is a hard decision. Because, of course, you're playing a video game, and it's so easy. And of course, you're going to say it's a video game. Of course, I'm going to remember. That's the right thing to do. But if you really get into if you really put yourself into Arthur's shoes and if you think about it what you did you just sold your brother out to Germany so you could stay back and probably live maybe you do want to forget I would understand that so I'm kind of I'm torn I don't know if I should really choose forget or if I choose to remember but on the other hand there there will be no Wellington Wells anymore because like how it used to be because no one will take joy anymore so wait this is, this is a black pill oblivion I don't know what this does does this erase our whole memory I'm torn but I think the right thing would still be to remember although I could really understand why you would forget horrible things that you did guess everyone would understand that it's definitely not a noble thing to do, to just drug yourself into forgetting, but maybe the truth is just too hard to take. I mean, Arthur did something terrible. I mean, he was a child. That's for sure, but I mean, there was... That was very well planned, I guess. Well, very well improvised. I didn't think that he planned it in advance. <sighs> no, I, I think I'm gonna stay with Remember. I think I'm gonna stay with Remember. I'm sorry, but I I just, I think I have to. I, I have to go with the video game um, logic. I don't know if I, if it was me in real life, I don't know if I would want to remember it still. Because it was years ago. It was, Arthur was a child and Maybe it sounds weird, maybe it sounds stupid if I say this, but he can't make it any better. He can't make it up to Percy. He probably will never see Percy again. Because maybe, who knows, maybe he's still alive, but maybe he's also, maybe he's dead. So there is no, not really something, I don't know, I think I, this sounds a little harsh, but there is no use in remembering because you can't change it but on the other hand it's still worth remembering because it reminds you of what you did and it reminds you of what you should never do and to transport this to others there so yeah i'm gonna stay with remember it's important to remember it's also in real life important to remember horrible things that happened in history so if everyone would have had the possibility to forget what they have done, probably those things, those events would have repeated themselves a lot faster, probably. Because no one would have remembered what happened before. No, well, no, no one would have remembered what ha what happened before and how it ended. So I'm gonna go with remember. I've been going on for a long time now. <laughs> I'm just stay with remember. Are you really a constable? I patrol the boundaries. Come on, sir. Once you're out there, you'll know what to do.
So that was it. That was we happy few. We managed. We did it. And it was awesome. It was a very nice game. I appreciated it a lot. It was a very good story. It was a very moving and touching story. It had a lot of plot twists. The story had its ups and downs. I had my ups and downs. I I guess I made it clear that there were some parts that I didn't like, some parts that I did like. But the li but the parts that I liked, they definitely um, are more than the parts that I didn't like. So I think the last um, act, Ollie's act, was a great act to to end this all because this was another one. This was another story that was like really moving, and it was another plot twist, like with Arthur. And I should have realized it before that Worthington was the last name of Uncle Jack. I'm a little bit disappointed in myself that I didn't realize that sooner because we knew it since Victoria told us that Margaret Worthington didn't have to die. So I actually keep this running um, the credits because I was told that after the credits there was still something going to happen. I'm a little bit afraid to press escape. Also, I think that those people who worked on a game deserve to appear too. I guess this was a lot of work for this game, so and it was a very good game. I like it very much.
Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. I don't even know how to tell the truth anymore. Lovely day for it. Are you joking? It's been shitty all day. Did you not notice the drops of water falling out of the sky? It's gonna be shitty tonight too. You're right. It has been rather a shit day. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice ending. <laughs> so yeah, that was it. We did it. That was We Happy Few. There were some DLCs that are about to be announced. I don't know if the first one is out yet. It is about Roger and James, the two assistants of Dr. Faraday and some new monsters. So I don't know if I'm going to play it. I'm going to take a look into it. If it looks interesting, maybe I'll do it. So um, 34 episodes and we made it. So that was my first Let's Play. I hope it was kind of entertaining, 
and um, I also want to thank everyone who's who was watching. Um, thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for giving it a try. Thank you for giving me some view time. So if you like this, um, maybe consider subscribing. I didn't say it before because I don't know. I think you should. I think everyone knows who he wants to subscribe and so I don't know but at least if you liked one of the videos in particular just maybe consider leaving a thumbs up or something again thank you very much for watching and don't know what my next project will be maybe I need to think about this a little bit but until then Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.